There's also concern in Orange County and the remote canyons where the bonfire burned last month. Yeah, volunteer evacuation orders were issued for three areas, Silverado, Majesca, and Williams Canyons. And our Tina Patel is live in Silverado Canyon this morning. Tina, good morning to you. Good morning. You know, the rain is keep is still falling this morning. It's not as heavy as it was last night, and so we don't see any mud flowing. But if you take a look at this home behind me, look at all of the mud that has piled up. This is what was flowing last night when the rain really started coming down. And we have a little bit of video from a home that's just up the street from here. Their entire front of their home is covered in mud. It's really not clear right now whether that mud got in the home, whether there was any damage. We've reached out to the Orange County Sheriff's and they tell us that as you said, voluntary evacuations were underway, so we're not hearing about anybody that was injured, but there was certainly a lot of mud that was flowing. They said it actually doesn't appear that it was a slide. What it seems like is that their drainage got caught, got blocked, and then there was just water and mud flowing down the street. Now, Orange County crews have been here all night. We've seen them driving up and down, trying to clear the road, get it reopened. As we come back out here live, it does look like the roads are actually passable right now. It seems like crews have really just kind of been moving all of the mud and the debris onto people's homes so the roads could be cleared. But when we were driving up here, they were only letting people who lived in the area in and out. And frankly, even if they do open the roads this morning with the rain still coming down, it feels like it's probably not safe for people who don't need to be in this area to be here because there is always that possibility of more problems with mud and debris. As we said, the rain is coming down. It's, it's very light though, so the hope is that the worst of the storm has moved through. But with that fire just a couple months ago, everyone is still on alert, and that is the one thing that crews are going to be doing as the morning goes on. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, thank you very much. We appreciate that.